Hello everyone, I'm Hasan. So today I will be solving a problem from uh, magnetic forces and the particles movement in magnetic fields. Uh, so the question asks us to find uh, the value of this magnetic field. The magnetic field points inwards to the screen uh, and we have a particle here which has charge Q, velocity V and mass m. It goes straight like this, it enters perpendicularly and it goes like this and it exits uh, perpendicularly. So uh, the particle travels a distance x inside the magnetic field, so this arc is, uh, has the length x. So if you want to try this on your own, you can pause the video. So let's start. Uh, let's call this distance r, the radius of the uh, circular motion here. Uh, and this is also r. Like this. So we have x is equal to 2 pi r over 4 which is equal to pi r over 2 from this we can obtain r as 2x over pi we found r because we will use it in the force equations. So uh, we know that uh, the centripetal force is equal to mv squared over r. Therefore, uh, we can substitute this value here and we will obtain f is equal to m v squared over r, which is over 2x times pi here. We obtain this equation for the force. Uh, but what causes this force is actually this magnetic field. Uh, a moving charge enters this magnetic field, so uh, there is a force applied. Uh, that force let's call it uh, F magnetic is equal to Q V cross B this is a vector notation so this cross product states that uh, as this particle enters here uh, the magnetic field points inwards therefore we will always have a force pointing to the center of the circle, like this. So, uh, to find this magnitude, we will look at this cross product. V and B are always perpendicular to each other. Therefore, uh, we can write the magnitude of this force as Q, V, B. If we wonder the direction of this force, it's always pointing to the center of this circle. So this is our expression for F. Let's put these together. We will have Q, V, B is equal to m v squared pi over 2x these v's are gone so we obtain b as m v pi over 2x q This is our final answer for this question. 
And uh, as we can see from here, uh, we found the magnitude and it points into the screen. Thank you for listening.